At number five tonight, water rates could soon see a pretty hefty spike if you live in the suburbs. The announcement coming from the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shaykat live in Macomb County, where people could see a big jump. And they're not happy about it, Simon. No, they're not, Glenda and Stephen. Tonight, the water department not returning our phone calls, but critics are boiling mad, and they say this has to do with broken promises. At a time when it seems everything is costing us more. Basic services like police and fire. Uh, now we're hitting them with, uh, with increased rates in their water. Now we're talking about a 1% sales tax. And then we're going to be following it up with regional transportation. The latest news rolling out of the Motor City's water department is a case of H2O. No. I'm frustrated. That's right, Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle. Not happy, and neither are countless suburbanites about to foot the bill. The average suburban wholesale water rate expected to jump 11.3%. The head of the Detroit Water and Sewage Department blaming falling water sales in nearby Highland Park, still under emergency management and unlikely to pay their $5.5 million tab. But none of this is in line with the promise that increases would be limited to 4%. When this got out that people were talking about that rates are only going to be capped 4%, we knew that that wasn't true. And so whether intentionally or unintentionally, I think the public is being misled. Hackle defending his citizens' right to fair water rates. He's watching closely to see what the Board of Commissioners does when they vote on the issue. On an average, i got to believe they're going to be going up pretty significantly. And when people see that water bill or they hear about it, they're going to be very frustrated. Now, a regional water authority could eventually change all of this, but in, in the meantime, we're hearing that all of this could take effect July 1st. Live in Macomb County, Simon Shaykett, 7 Action News.